So there's an old saying that goes, when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. And <laughs> I've had lemonade for days here. So because I've had uh, a lot of lemons, but you know, life is kind of funny. Um, like, unlike some, some YouTubers, I don't do this as a full-time job. So, you know, I just make videos as a hobby. I do it more to share my knowledge and to uh, give back to the amateur radio community whatever a little bit of money I make from this channel I don't know I spend it on various things to go back and channel like bought new cameras and a whole new computer just to fix things so anyway uh, what happened to me so in 2023 um, my day job uh, served layoff notice and that kind of kicked things a whole introspection of life so in late 2023 I was called into a one-to-one -one and then um, with a person I didn't know and then, you know, the rest is history from there. So I can't go into details because um, that is under NDA and it's pretty much immaterial to um, what's um, what I'm going to talk about. So that's done. What is done is done. Um, I did get another job. Great. And um, really wonderful um, people that I work with you can see on LinkedIn you know I'm not gonna but I uh, I don't want to mention them here just because you know that's and I'm not doing this for work but um, so I did have that and but you know life has been busy I decided that I would go back to school and um, so I enrolled in university and um, I'm doing a degree in cybersecurity, and then I want to actually go back to NYU Tandon and do their, uh, you know, their degree in cybersecurity. It's been really intense. It's been a lot of work, a lot of things. Uh, I've been in security for a long time. I've been an ethical hacker, so to speak. I actually started out at a previous employer. Um, at Fox News, I was a basically their quote unquote ethical hacker. <laughs> I used to do a lot of security scanning and pen testing and you know um, security, a lot of security stuff there. And we had a quite a successful security program that um, I worked on. And I also did DevOps there too. So you know I did a lot of um, uh, systems and cloud and you know that kind of stuff but you know you're never good enough the tech industry is full of very hard interviews like I get like I went on some interviews they ask you some really obscure questions like really really drilling deep down I mean in, in my career I'd probably expect it because I've been in this industry for I started out of high school in 97 so let's see here i would say um about 27 26 27 years of tech and i started out i started out originally doing like windows admin and then um, i got into unix and then i got into voice over ip and then i learned a little bit of security doing firewalls and also i learned how to hack phone systems is probably where probably why you'll see me hanging with the 2600 crowd but um, one of my famous exploits was a Nortel PBX at my old job at Fujitsu where we I trained it how to bypass call restrictions and make foreign phone calls so how I did that was I um, took, picked up the phone dialed myself right put myself on hold and dialed again and then this way I have an active line and then when I dial myself I switch back and the other line hangs up and guess what I get a dial tone so with that I can get access to foreign phone calls and this um, was in the days of the DMS 100 switch I don't know you telco geeks probably have an idea of what that is but Nortel uh, DMS 100 switches is what our telephone exchanges used. 
then when I came to the U.S., I worked security for the city of New York, um, doing a lot of their cybersecurity at one agency, and um, you know, so the rest of this history. So, yeah, life's been busy. I'm still doing the show for WRMI. If you want to listen on to WRMI Legends or WRMILegends.com, that's kind of kept up with because that's easy to do on Sunday. You know, I just have a show that I put up on Sunday and do a one and done. Videos take a little more prep, and I kind of want to do a good video. I've been doing some travel. Like, I went to Germany in 23 and then 24. I took my family to Germany in 24. And then I went to Trinidad in 23. (laughs) You probably see I had that one late night live stream. I just decided not to. To make, I decided to make it private because it was such an embarrassment. But um, I did. Uh, I went to Japan, Tokyo Ham Fair, as you saw that video, and then um, I went to India. And India was kind of like an introspection in itself because in India, I actually got to see where my ancestors took from where they sailed to the New World, and I, you know, I had a wonderful time. I was a guest of Oscar India, and you can check out their channel, Oscar India. They have, um, they make a lot of great YouTube videos. They have a lot of, they have a lot of women doing amateur radio there, and I'm quite pleased and surprised at how India is training them up. Not only their club, but also other clubs like the West Bengal Radio Club. So. So yeah, that's what's been happening with me. I don't know. I'm trying to see if I could make more videos. I mean, um, it, let's see. In uh, mm, I, I mean, I still have. I want to make a video about what what I did in India. I recorded a ton of footage, including like cows in the streets and everything, and also um, the Hamfest India, which was held by Oscar India in Kolkata. So yeah, we'll do that. Um, but I'm still around. Maybe I'll see you at Dayton, right? Just, uh, you know, I'll see you around. Anyway, that's me. Just a short note to say I'm still here, alive and kicking. This is Rhea and 2RJ. Peace and 73.